Welcome back to marriage or well, hell no. Nah. Fellas, when you guys are out here watching these videos, sometimes I know you got to be asking yourself, what the hell is really going on out here with some of these modern women? And, you know, we see all these videos on TikTok of women just going absolutely crazy. But the second breeding ground other than TikTok for a lot of this foolishness happens to be world star hip hop. And sometimes when I find myself on world star fellas, I see some awfully cringy type content. And we're going to have to really cover this once here today because this one is really important. And this is one to show you guys that this 304 culture is just going so far out of control in these 304s. Yes, I said 304s. They are starting to get younger and younger at making bad decisions that will disrupt their life going forward forever. So I want to I want you guys to just know that when I make this video, I'm not making this video right here to be funny, but I want to highlight some of the problems that we are starting to see. And the reason being is I want to teach men lessons about, you know, how some of these modern women be out here moving. And in this video, you will see a modern woman or a young woman out here who is moving so recklessly. And some of these women out here will do anything to get the bag. And that even means disrespecting themselves and even disrespecting their families. Just a heads up, when I show you guys this video, you need to understand I'm not gonna be able to show you everything in the video because, you know, YouTube be trying to get at me for things that, you know, is just beyond crazy. So I gotta tread lightly when I make these videos sometimes. So I'm not gonna be able to show you some things in this video because it's just, it's just a little too spooky. So before I get going, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been enjoying the videos, who's subscribing to the channel, who's liking the content, but most importantly, those who are getting at me in the comments, man. I really enjoy you guys' comments because you guys help other men understand a little bit more about what we're dealing with out here in today's current marketplace when it comes to dealing with some of these women. The other thing I want to say is that when you guys are watching this video, hopefully I'm not at a bar somewhere crying. It is about that time. It is Darby Day. Come on, city. But to me, I was the two being. So but look, wait, let me say something. She was just speaking too much foul language right there. I couldn't play it all. I'm doing a scene for one night. All right. Bitches be getting paid 200 yeah, a night. That's yeah, like, that's please. Enough. Yeah, talk your talk. But they know you 18. No, I'm 19, but they know I'm oh, 19. 19. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to see. Somebody wait, in the see, comments wait, asked me why I look uncomfortable. The only reason why I look uncomfortable is because I'm mad small. Them niggas are big. They were smacking yeah, me like they shit and up. like this video is so uncomfortable on so many levels. And some of you guys may be looking at this and saying, what is going on? First of all, the dude who's talking to her right now, he's just doing way too much for me. Personally, I'm not going to get into that, but I can't believe he's even egging her on in this type of video. So if you guys don't understand what's going on, let me paint the picture. This is a woman who is, I think, 18, 19 years old. She jumped out the window to do something stupid for what she thought was her chasing the bag. And then she embarrassed her whole family. So let me read this to you. At the end of the day, I don't give an F about who's seen anything. I got paid almost $2,000 for the video. You think I give an F and y'all still paying to watch it. So y'all must like my freaky butt, right? So then grandma must have caught along to what was going on and grandmama had words for the granddaughter because grandma is saying, what the hell were you thinking about? So let's read grandma's comments. I have never been so embarrassed, humiliated, and felt so degraded in all of my 68 years. Don't ever call me your grandmother again as long as you live. Get the family pictures the hell off your page and forget you have one. You were giving everything any child could want. You've been talking about $2,000 like that's some money. That's not Born. I can't really say the word because I'm trying to really be YouTube safe. That being a 50 cent street W for everyone to see your brother. 
the one that a producer in California and the one in New Jersey called, they were in tears and disbelief. I'm done with you. And so was everyone else. Your first cousin didn't want to show it to me. I forced him to. Let's see if that $2,000 can help you gain somewhere to live. So basically, grandmama has said enough is enough and kicked the granddaughter out of the house. She wants her out of the family because grandmama is so embarrassed. And I'm going to let the video keep playing, but I just wanted to bring you guys up to full speed so you can hear the delusion behind what this woman has done. And she is so disrespectful to her family, and she thinks it's so cool to expose herself in such a degrading, disgusting manner. I, was, I wasn't hey, scared. I wasn't they scared, was scared but, right. like, I was like, damn, like, you don't got to smack me like that because, you know, like, if it was just some regular nigga, I was not letting no nigga do that, but these are professional porn stars, so, you know. Oh, I got one question. Did they force you to do that? She said no. Nah, they didn't. Nah, they didn't. She said they mad cool. Well, they are mad cool to me. Like, first off, they got me a whole Uber from where I live, all the way from out there. They was paying for my Uber there and back from the studio and all that. They're mad cool. Was that milk, or was that the real style? I might have to stop it right there because, like I said, I can't just show you that image. It's just way too graphic. So I want you guys to hear the mother's response. Delete this effing page, effing now. You got your whole effing family involved in this effing S. How effing dare you to represent me and your father like this? We gave you everything a child could effing deserve. And this is what you do. So this is what I'm talking about. This is a woman who came from a place where her mother and her father was in the house. But yes, she jumped out the window to make such a bad decision. And then going to be out here talking about she getting the bag and she wouldn't let regular ninjas do this but she thought this was a good idea come back to who love you come back to who support you come back to your roots baby your mother love you if nobody else does take the page down you are a queen how could you give an f about two thousand dollars when you got more than that sitting at home should i post your cash app for me and i'm sorry ma she is not a queen. I know that's your daughter. I know you love your daughter, but when your daughter jumps out the window, just like you said in the effort and the I see I'm getting too excited. I can't even talk right now. But just like the mother said in the previous paragraph, this child had been given everything. The grandmother been providing for this child, and she went out there and did the dumbest thing in the world for two thousand dollars. That was that was like a nutriment oh, drink. Wow. It was a nutriment drink. Oh, oh, I told y'all. I thought it was. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know. That was that was a nutrient drink that they had me so, drink. Um, so, what you said they told you? They give you cold words. They give you cold words. Let me ask you something. They told you to call timeout when you. They give you. Yes, because they give you. This guy right here is just too messy for a guy like me. I mean, if this girl came to me and had this conversation, whether I was a family friend, whether I was. A family member if she tried to bring this up to me in confidence i would cringe so hard that i would go off on her to where she would never ever want to talk to me like this again and for him just to be egging her on like this it is absolutely troubling but let's read the comments because you as you can see Bro, when we talk about some of these modern women not taking accountability, it ain't just these 30-year-olds. It ain't just these 40-year-olds. It ain't just some of these 20-year-olds out here moving. They get younger and younger every day. So let's hear what she got to say. We heard from the grandmother. We heard from the mother. But let's hear what she got to say. Like, I really hate people. It is sad, y'all. I can't go back from what I did. But y'all really did the most involving my mom like I'm some little A girl. What is she talking about? She's only 18, 19 years old. And the way she is moving, she absolutely is moving like a little girl. Cold words. Yes, yeah, so they give you cold words. Basically, oh, if... All right, because um, he told me about one of the girls that came there before me. He was uh -huh. like how 
I guess it was too much for her, so she couldn't do it no more. So she just oh. said timed out. That ended the whole shit. She didn't get paid. She just <laughs> went home and left. But I'm a champ. Mm -hmm. I'm Roro. -ro. I'm not pussy. You so Roro. I did what I had to do. You I Roro from it and I got that bag. So you Roro from Bree Boy. Period. She would have been better off working a minimum wage job at Target, bro, than jumping out the window for what she thought was $2,000 is going to help her do something. It ain't going to help her do nothing because now her family disowner, she going to be out on the streets, piss poor, homeless over one bad decision. But the level of accountability that this lady takes is absolutely nil because she is not mad at what she did. She is mad that her family found out. And this is one of the most disrespectful cringe videos I have found in a while. And that's the reason why I'm bringing this to you guys. Oh, they said, uh, why was it only black girls? Why wasn't it white girls? It is white females on it, but you got to really look. I don't know. Like, it's called ghetto gaggers for a reason. See, what we're not going to do is what they try to do right then and there. You know, don't bring up race as if it has something to do with this. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is that this is distasteful no matter whether you are white, black, Latino, Indian, of Asian descent, no matter where you are. This is absolutely disrespectful to your family, no matter what family dynamic you come from. Yo, <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anthony is retarded, bro. Yeah, really cool Somebody talk about stop gas. Out. Ain't nobody not gassing me because I before this fucking porn shit, I was been lit, been famous. So I don't even care about this. This is just something that's new. This shit is annoying, bro. Like I have a life of my own. I have to provide for myself. I my don't my mother and my father do not pay for my shit no more. I buy my own shit. Oh, okay. like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, I still live with my mother. She still give a roof over my head, but she don't right. pay for my shit. Oh, I mean, so when you got the two thousand, you gave mama roof for her. No, I ain't give her nothing. <laughs> Respect <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully, I'm sorry, I didn't give her nothing. Wow. Because I'm like, like, with some times when I needed something from her, and she just do too much. So I needed. So you don't care if mommy see this, right? To be honest, I do. But at the end of the day, she's going to have to. She's talking about I need to do something with myself. Even though she don't like it. I mean, it's something. Tell me honestly, though. None of your folks know you're doing this? No. What do you think they're going to say when they find out? I mean, I'm grown, so he can't really say anything. And if you go to family dinner, what about church on Sundays? No. No? Nothing? Yeah. Do you still speak to your family? Yes. Mom and dad both in the picture? My dad passed. I'm sorry. And you can hear right there, the producer was asking her numerous questions about her family life, what her family was going to say, because she is actually on the set right now filming, right? And the producer's asking her these family-oriented questions about, you know, what her family's going to have to say about this. But you heard a very important part right there at the end is that her father passed away. And I want to say rest in peace to her father and you know, I'm so thankful that her father does not have to hear this. And I know that that sounds rough, but no father should ever have to go through this. I mean, even me watching it, I have a son. If I had a daughter that did this, I'm sorry to say. She belongs to the streets. <laughs>